Hey folks, what's happening? It's Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back an episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are shopping your brains out on Black Friday while you're waiting in the car for everyone else to finish shopping. You could be watching this. So if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Watch me while your wife or your husband or where, whoever, your partner, whatever it may be, watch me while they're shopping. Watch me whip watch me nay nay all right so anyway uh i got a special treat for y'all today we're going to be going back to the taisho era of japan and looking at a demon slayer figure uh and so i'm excited about this because it's not tanjiro it's not a hashira but it's actually one of the 12 kazuki because the 12 kazuki are here so let's take a look at it in my lab in the back let's do it it's the moment y'all have been waiting for we got another McFarlane Demon Slayer 7-inch figure, and this time, it's actually one of the demons. Uh, this is one of the 12 Kazuki, as they would call them, and he is known as one of the Lower Moons. So of the 12 Kazuki, they were divided into Upper Moon and Lower Moon. Upper Moon were the most powerful, and Lower Moons were still powerful, but not as powerful. And this is Rui, Rui, the Lower Moon 5. Now, he was just as powerful as some of the more like the higher lower moon so there's lower moon six five four three two one and then it goes upper moon five four three six five four three two one uh so rui uh was just as powerful as lower moon two or one but never wanted to move up in ranks he's very calm demeanor that kind of type of person but definitely kind of the spider vibe here this is this was his blood demon art the things that he did this was a crazy crazy arc in demon slayer um, if you haven't watched it yet it's the mount not a gumo arc uh you can catch that on i think netflix hulu crunchyroll all those places but it's really really cool because this is when tanjiro really starts coming into his own and uh and really kind of using and then you find out that nezuko has a blood demon art but this, his blood demon art which is basically like his superpower is he has like these red like razor blade like spider webs that can slice through anything uh so it's pretty pretty cool but this is the package right here if you want to know more about it you can always read more about it or you can watch the show but very very cool very excited to get this because it's going to go along with the hashira that i have of gyu tomioka Giyu and Rui have a pretty intense battle. Well, it's not that intense. Rui, uh, Giyu, he, he's, let's just put it this way. Uh, Giyu uh, is greater than Rui on that. So, uh, but here it is. Here's the front of it, the side, the back. And you can kind of see right here. This is one of those scenes uh, where Tanjiro tries to chop his head off. Of course, Tanjiro did break his Nichiren sword. Uh, but... Yeah, you can kind of see that that spider web. But yeah, Nezuko discovered her blood demon art, which was really, really cool in this. But uh, I can't wait to open it. These McFarlane figures have been really, really great. It has 22 points of articulation. And uh, I'm so excited about these Demon Slayer figures because I'm able to get these figures at a reasonable price. Now, there are other figures out there that are much, much more articulate, maybe more better, more better, more much better uh but this this is for the price uh you can't beat it so let's get him out of the package here he is out of the package along with his pet spider uh we'll call the spider charlie uh but this is everything you get in the package of course you do get the obligatory demon slayer stand and then you get charlie the spider right here and the spider does not have any articulation it's just a spider just kind of there for you to have because with the demons you don't really get swords like the demon slayers you get swords slor swords swords but most of them you don't get swords like for instance after him there's uh the next one we see is upper moon uh two uh no upper moon three which is akaza and he fights with his fists and then we see lower moon one who again no sword so they have to include something but you also get these two fists which is interesting because when you look at the figure the hands are down here so i don't know how you would really get to see the fists and things like that now and then you also get the figure here and we're going to take a closer look at this figure here in just a moment but what's interesting about uh the demon slayer lord i'm just going to go into it a little bit more listen to jimmy's boring speech on this uh but uh 
they all have tragic backstories and you really find out about those tragic backstories when they're about to die. Um, they start regretting their life's decisions and they, they kind of accept their consequences of going to hell. Uh, but uh, Tanjiro is just like, he's the kindest person to exercise these guys uh, and, um, and listens to those backstories and make sure that they're at peace. It's just the craziest thing. Um, but uh, really, really digging this figure. Uh, so we're going to bring this in for a closer look. Let's get some lighting over here. Oh, very cool. Very cool indeed. But here he is, Rui. And Rui had his own family of demons that lived with him. And he was a very ob overbearing uh sibling to the rest of those demons and stuff like that too and really cool arc um i digress i'm not gonna talk more about that you need to watch it or read it but here he is the the detail i really love the soft feel of the robe and the cobwebs and this red white and black is i'm digging it i think it is just totally cool um now the face you can kind of get in there a little bit and i don't know if you can tell but the eye typically has like this writing and stuff and it kind of uh, it kind of determines and lets you know that they are either a lower moon or upper moon by the design of the eye. And I'll see if I can put an illustration or a image of, the, of a close up of the face so you can kind of see that from the cartoon. Uh, but the hair has, uh, it's basically just just hair uh it, it's not soft it's not malleable or anything like that but just a very cool and very accurate looking figure overall and he has that face you see that calm cool demeanor that's how he was throughout the whole thing except for there was a time he went berserk mode and it was kind of nuts uh but this is him so there he is front let's rotisserie him here a little bit uh there we go quicker look whoop, there we are and then uh, I don't have the ramen scale because I ate all my ramen so uh, I have to resupply the ramen scale but just this is my iPhone 14 uh, Pro and you can kind of see from a height standpoint uh, this is uh, kind of where he stands from a height stands stand in the place where you live all right so but let's go over some articulation. And so we'll start with the head. You do have 360. You do have head bobble nobble. Uh, and then arm out like so. Uh, you have rotation. You do have uh, a bend at the elbow. And then, and then, of course, you do have the twist too as well. Twisty, twisty. And then the hand in here, you do have some movement as well. But the hard part is, is going to, like, getting these hands on here will probably be a little bit tough because of just that robe and how, uh, how well, just deep that robe is. So uh, so that's going to be kind of interesting there on, on doing that. But you can kind of see that joint there, how that works. And then the waist, you do have the swivel at the waist. You have a little bit of an ab crunch there too as well. And then the feet. You can stretch it out, but of course the, the robe gets in the way. Now here's something interesting. Look at the color difference there. Uh, so uh, he's got a farmer's tan on his leg. Uh, so he's got a lighter white. It's a different color white. That's that's a, hmm, I don't know if that's a detail they missed or if they purposefully did that, but that's, that's a... That's a shame uh, right there. I, I think they could have made it all white there, but maybe that's his underwear. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's his underwear. He's wearing boxers uh, on that. So, uh, But the legs, it's kind of hard to move it up and down because of his robe. Uh, but you do also have the knee bend. And you get 90 degrees there. You do have a bit of a rotation and uh, rotation at the ankle and uh, flex and bend, just like all the other uh, McFarlane figures. 22 points of articulation. That's what you got. And, uh, and so that way you can kind of pose them in some really cool poses and things. So one of the things I wish he came with. So first of all, the legs, that's kind of, that kind of bugs me that there's two different white colors there. So, but he, his leg is mainly covered by his kimono. So, uh, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, but the one thing I wish he came with is his blood demon art, you know, some like maybe red rays or red little things that you can kind of hook up to the hands because I know Nezuko comes with her like hands that are hooked up to that. And I'll show you when we compare figures here. Uh, but he does not have that. So let's, do this let's bring in some figures let's compare him and then we'll put him in some poses and i'll give you some of my final thoughts on Rue. 
So here's what I'm talking about, folks. You can see here Nezuko, she has her blood demon art, and this is attached to those hands. They could have done the same thing to Rui. They could have given him something really, really cool. That would have been awesome. But, you know, I, I get it. We got a spider instead. You know what? Yay, spider. I would have rather had some blood demon art, but the spider's cool too as well. Uh, but that would have been very, very cool to have that. And you can notice how small he is. He's about the same size as Nezuko, but I'm going to bring Tanjiro in. You can see Tanjiro is a lot taller, and that's true because he is, in in the show, he is a small dude. Uh, but uh, let's bring you Tomioka. Uh, the reason why we're doing all these guys is because they uh, are the ones that really had a big part in fighting Rui. And Tomioka, so they dispatched the Hashira to uh, take care of everything that was going on here. I can't get him to stand. Stand. There we go. And so there's, there you go. Then we also have the five inch Tanjiro and then the Bandai Ultimates there. Uh, so you can kind of see them all together, kind of what they look like. Uh, but that is them in a nutshell. And Rui, again, he's supposed to be small, but again, he's not small in power. Uh, so um, what's really cool, I do have one more figure that I, I love the fact that uh, McFarlane is le releasing these in kind of a... Um, waves uh because this is all part of that that mountain arc uh and that that last figure is shinobu because she comes in so they dispatch two hashira after uh hearing about all that's going on and after tanjo and them that's been there fighting and the two hashiras the butterfly hashira and of course the water hashira here Gyu tomioka so let's do this let's get him in some cool poses and y'all are gonna hear some of my final thoughts on rui so my final thoughts on Lower Moon 5 Rui. So let's bring him back in. We're going to take a look at that beautiful face. I mean, just, you know, powder. You need to get out in the sun a little bit more. Put on some SPF 3000 to protect your face. Actually, demons can't go out in the sun or they will burn up and die. So like I said before, if you haven't heard me talk about Demon Slayer, it's kind of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer in the Taisho era of Japan. Demons are like the vampires. They can't be in the sun. They have to be killed by being beheaded. Uh, they are also very uh, uh, affected by wisteria, which is a flower. So yeah, just kind of like that. So, uh, but And there are Demon Slayer core that goes after them. But there is Rui. Again, I really really, really dig this look. I think it looks amazing. I think the overall aesthetic is great. The, the, I don't care nonchalant look on his face. Like, I mean, that's the thing about these lower moon and upper moons. They're like, I, you know, you're not powerful enough. I'm better than you. And, you know, just kind of just very overconfident and over co and cocky and bored. Uh, he was, he's been a demon for like 20 years of his life, but there are some that have been hundreds of years, uh, in, in the demon slayer, uh, lore. But, um, you do get Charlie, the spider there to boot as well. Uh, I mean, I could have done with or without him. I think it's cool that they added him, but I would have preferred that they added some like like blood demon art instead. You also get the fists, which I did not put on him because I think it'd be kind of difficult to... <laughs> to put on and and take off i think i'll keep him like this uh or i may keep him in a beheaded mode so that that might be cool as well uh but overall these figures these mcfarlane figures i think they they give you a really good animation accurate look uh for the fraction of a cost of like a shv arts or a figma or a, a bandai high-end figure uh, max factory or good smile or any of those uh so 24.99 compared to like 80 bucks on some of those other figures well, for 80 bucks, I would expect a premium figure that can do all sorts of cool stuff. $24, I mean, this, this is really nice. This is really good. I think McFarland made a good replication of these. I think they, the Demon Slayer line was perfect uh, as an anime. And I know he does My Hero Academia and Seven Deadly Sins as well. So I can't wait. I hope he gets into some others. I hope he gets into one of my other favorites, Jujutsu Kaisen. That would be, you hear me, Todd? Todd, Jujutsu Kaisen, make it happen. Uh, so, um, or re-release some Attack on Titan since uh, since that that's finally over. Uh, but on a scale of good, bad, awesome, I think he is pretty awesome. Uh, these figures are finding a special place on my shelf in my heart. I think they are great. I can't wait for more. I mean, what's cool is uh, in the next wave you'll get the Tanjiro that 
battles Rui. Like the Tanjiro I have is not that one. You get one that he has his Hinokami Kagura effect as well as like slashes on his face from the, the Blood Demon art that Rui did. So that'll be kind of cool uh, that you get that. And the next wave also has my favorite Hashira Rengoku, which is going to be awesome. Uh, so, but that is it. That's all I got to say about this. I think he's great. I think if you like Demon Slayer, you should go out and get him. If you like anime, you should go out and get him. And if you like McFarlane figures, great figure if you're a completionist. If you don't like any of that stuff, well, keep them on the shelf. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, so with that, let's talk about something else good, bad, or awesome in the future. But in the meantime, y'all remember, stay young, have fun, and be awesome. Blood Demon Art in this vlog.